three, two, one. Hello, my friends, my little YouTube friends. Welcome back to my channel. Did you guys miss Mama Harouche? I know I have been MIA for a minute. I thoroughly apologize. I'm sorry. I just haven't like feeling uppity to film and you know, I have to keep it real with you guys at all times. Without further ado, let's begin the video. But before I begin, I lied a little bit. Thank you Audible for sponsoring yet another video of mine. I would like to give you guys a recommendation of mine, an audiobook, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck very on brand. For a limited time, you can save 60% off of Audible for three months straight. That's only $5.95 a month to educate your noggin. Visit audible.com slash Harouche or text Harouche to 500-500 to try Audible today. Give yourself the gift of listening. And if you take my suggestion with this book, you're going to really learn how to just deal with situations versus crying about them. And I get like, it's wusa and peace all the time. And you know, I stand for spirituality and being kind to each other, but not everyone is going to share your mind state. And the sooner you learn that, the sooner you can excel in life. Also, I'm sure you guys already knew this, but I'm just going to add a little sprinkle in there. Audible has audiobooks, podcasts, fitness, meditation, and many, many more. And now without further ado, we welcome Miranda Kerr. Hello, my little YouTube friends. Hello. Do I really even need to introduce her? This is the founder of Coral Organics, but you guys might know her as Miranda Kerr. Give her a round of applause, everybody. If you guys don't know her, you probably live under a rock. <laughs> so we are here to try out this new product that she has going on because I'm absolutely obsessed with the turmeric moisturizer. I've put this on. It's been in my 40 favorites before. Yay. And yeah, it's so good. I'm obsessed with it. And here's the cool part, you guys. You don't have to like waste a whole bottle. You just buy the little refill part. Yeah. Less waste, better for the environment. And that's why we made the new product that we were talking about. Yes. The under eye. The little berry bright vitamin C eye cream. And it's the same philosophy. Like Let's you buy it. the jar once and then you have the little refill pods and they just kind of click in and like click out. Put it in, put it out. Put it in, put it out. <laughs> put, put it in, in put, put it, it on, on pull and it pull it out. Put it in, put, put it, it on. on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is this accent? <laughs> put it in. Put it on. on. Pull, pull it, it out. out. Today I'm going to teach Miranda. Thank you. Contouring. I've never done contouring, be contouring I before. I mean, you hikey don't need it, I but do. no, you don't. <laughs> do you not I've see like your face a, on the screen? I've like a moon face. We're gonna start with skincare right now. I don't know if you can see how beautiful her skin is. She has amazing skin, and I want to know everything she does to get the skin with Core Organic. So oh, I need you. you to give me a little skin toot. Thank you so much. I start by cleansing my face in the morning. Okay. I use our Milky Mushroom Cleanser. It's like an oil cleanser, but it turns, when you shake it, into this milky texture. It's an emulsion. You do a couple of squirts. It's kind of like Cleopatra milk, as you can see there, and smell. It looks like something. It, it does. <laughs> but it actually smells, it's like rose, geranium, and basil. Yeah. It's so calming. Oh yeah, it does. It smells like a spa, like the fanciest spa I've ever been to. So with Core Organics, we only use aromatherapy and essential yeah. oils. We don't use anything artificial, so no I artificial fragrance. And these essential oils are actually good for your like spirit. So these ones especially are anti-anxiety. I love. Yes. On the back of every Cora product, there's a little positive word. This one has <gasps> I forgiveness. Didn't know that. Yeah. I love this. That one is about taking that moment to forgive yourself or forgive anyone that's upset you intentionally or unintentionally. And all Cora products are filtered through and touch upon rose quartz crystals. 
I know I got your straw with the rose quartz and I was oh, yeah. obsessed with it. Yeah. I featured it on my 40 favorites. I was like, yeah. even though I got this in a PR, <laughs> a little horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> I need a rose quartz straw. So I anyway, love, that's Okay, the why did I not know that full concept behind it? I was just like, this product is good. Yeah, I know most people don't because there are many layers to Cora. Because first and foremost, it's clinically active mm -hmm. and it's certified organic. So yeah. it's giving you the results you need and being certified organic is so much more than just clean. It's the studies have shown there are up to 60% more antioxidants. That's why people are going crazy with the results because it's not just putting something on your skin because it's healthy. It's actually really powerful with the amount of antioxidants. I love the it. intention behind that, but I woke up and chose violence today. <laughs> no violence. <laughs> Let's get you all peace. peace I know, give me the products. Love, happiness. Okay, so the next one is a turmeric scrub. And I'm not doing this here because, you know, we're sitting here and it's get messy and I'll get like drip, drip, drip everywhere. So I'm not doing it, but I will put it on my hand for everyone. Do you intentionally know that it's gonna, it changes like the skin to a little golden tint? Yeah, it gives you yeah. like a little golden glow. Same yes. with the turmeric moisturizer. It's brightening, it's mm -hmm. anti-inflammatory. Mm -hmm. It's so good for the skin. And what we have in here, we have papaya enzymes, mixed with the turmeric, mixed with aspen bark, mixed with um, rosehip seeds. So you're getting this physical granula granulation, like this physical exfoliation, and it smells like peppermint. It does. So it's peppermint aromatherapy. Okay, honestly, it's got a wow. Lavender. It's like a breath of fresh air when you're in the shower, and yeah, like you like feel you everything, just like all your senses are invigorated and your skin's invigorated, you come out and your skin's so much brighter, you see instant results. You can use it as a microdermabrasion scrub. Yeah. Or you can use it as a mask, but you can do both. But after- I'm excited to see the color. Yeah, after you see, yeah. your skin is like glowy. Do you see it that? It looks so good. Like compared to this one, look. Look at that. And a scrub. Like that's not even scrub. like putting anything that's on That's nothing on my skin and it's yeah. like, glowy. So you see, as I said, instant results, great for pigmentation and actually great for men and women. My husband uses it every morning it. in the shower. I love it. By the way, speaking um, your wedding dress and your look for your wedding. Oh, thank you. Like goals. Oh, you are radiant as the scrub radiant. says. Yeah, that's the positive word on the back. Radiant. Yeah, radiant. Yeah. So you will be radiant in radiant. the turmeric. They're going to make your skin radiant. And I really like the scent, the smell of this too. I would definitely yes. wake up if I scrub my face in the with morning that. with it. Yeah. And then after that, I use the vitamin C serum, which is amazing. Do you use the vitamin C serum in the morning or night? I use it in the morning. Morning. So at night I use our AHA. Yeah. So in the morning I use the little um, vitamin C and at night I use the AHA. I actually want to put it on my face. Yes, put it on. It's morning time if you guys it's don't know. It's morning time. And she looks like Good this morning. in the morning. <laughs> so you look amazing, stop. And so what I love, <laughs> what you love about this serum, yeah, is you just apply it and it just melts into your skin. Mm. You can smell, it's like you can smell like the lemon, the yeah, orange peel refreshing. ferment. How do you put it on? I know some people like go like this, some people do this. I mean, I'm just kind of pretty easy it. going, just mixing it around. Yeah. And what That's I love right. is it has kakadu plum in there, which is the highest naturally uh, occurring vitamin C. It's a type of vitamin C called ascorbyl glucoside, which melts deeper into the skin. It doesn't sit on the surface like a lot of vitamin C serums do. And it's super brightening. It's helped me so much with my pigmentation. As you'll see, it sits really well underneath makeup. Yeah, I always put it on the back of my hands too. Yes. Every skincare I do. It's so important, the back of the yeah. hands. And this one has optimism on the back. I love it. So we're gonna be optimistic for the day. She's very optimistic. I put a ray of sunshine around her. <laughs> and the next step is our gorgeous turmeric glow moisturizer. This just won an Allure Best of Beauty Award. I'm obsessed with this. It's like I'm gonna use hers because I don't want to waste time. Yeah, you just can in use case mine. she doesn't give me. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm gonna take it's, it regardless. <laughs> this is how I like to apply it, just like this, and it's literally like such an incredible way to just kind of prep your skin for makeup. I just love the fact that it's got the, this special liposome technology and inside the liposomes is licorice root, noni, turmeric, 
and when you apply it to your skin, they're like popping all over your skin. So they're like little tiny little bubbles and they pop. So you get the active ingredients directly into your skin. And it's so smooth and just nice crispy treats. It just feels so good. Honestly, oh. I'm gonna show you what I really do with your product after this too. Okay. It's gonna blow your mind. I don't think you've watched that video. I don't know. I watched a video like showing how to like really manipulate it. Oh, do you I'm gonna it teach you makeup. something about Cora Organics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I mix it with makeup. It actually really mixes really, really well. It does give your skin that golden, like a little bit it of a really golden does. glow. And at the same time, it's working actively on pigmentation, anti-aging, just like really plumping your skin. And my husband uses this product too. So my husband's two favorite products are these two. <laughs> um, I feel like your line definitely broke me into organic skincare. Oh, good. Because I... Because you was can... very like, give me the chemicals, I need it on my face, I need the tightening. But then when I started using your stuff, I was like, oh. Oh, you can get the it's results. It's very nice, I like it. In a healthy way. Yeah. And we have this little kit actually for the holidays where you can get both the turmeric scrub and a mini version Which of the moisturizer. Which will be featured on my gifting guide. Woo, yay. <laughs> People can test it and try it and trust me, you'll be back. Yeah, more. I probably am going to scrub my whole body with that. Yes. Don't even get me started. I've done that before. You have. And I felt like that was a little excessive, <laughs> but it was really indulgent and I loved it, every minute of it. I secretly am making a body version. Oh my God, I love it. And then as I was talking about earlier, our little vitamin C eye cream. This is mm -hmm. my next step. I forgot to mention, this is filtered through, in addition to the rose quartz, is filtered through and touches upon citrine crystals. Wow. And that brings a lot of abundance and light into your life. And then now you can make it rain. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the eye cream. <laughs> yes. So this eye cream is amazing because it's a vitamin C eye cream. It contains 5.5% vitamin C. It has kangaroo poor flower. So it's a flower oh. from Australia. It's not a kangaroo paw. So the kangaroo paw flower is really great for strengthening the eye area. So it really helps to strengthen this delicate eye area. Along with quinoa peptides that we have in here, we also have the kakadu plum. Our Noni Glow mm -hmm. face oil is something that people all over the world rave about. And this is the gorgeous Noni Glow. As you can see here, it is like a golden, I just call it my like golden liquid and it just gives you the golden glow. And I like to warm it up in my hands and press it into my face. The face oil, as I was saying, has pomegranate extract. And this is gentle enough to use on anyone. It doesn't matter what age they are. And it's a great foundation for your makeup. It really is and that's where I come in. So yeah, that's the skin prep. Thanks for that. We did the entire skin prep and I'm actually excited because I did Miranda Kerr's skin prep. So now it's my turn. So my turn. turn. Your turn. <laughs> your turn to take the mic. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we are going to force Miranda Kerr to contour her perfectly shaped round face. <laughs> As you can see, our face shapes are different. So you have to speak into the mic. Okay. What do you consider your face shape? Round. Yeah, we have two mics. We have a high budget here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Round face is actually the most desired. It is the most symmetrical and desired face shape. Oh. Universally. Well, they're lucky for me. I mean. I could... <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay, so talk me through it. Where are we going? Okay, so we're gonna start with skin first. You don't need intense contouring or... <laughs> Do we start with like contour or do we start with like foundation? I feel like for you, cause I want to like teach you my way, how you taught me yours. Yes. Teach me how to Dougie. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> how does it go? They be like, oh, what? Can you teach me how to Dougie? You, you know, know why? why? Cause all the cause brushes are <laughs> Yeah. This is, these are the brushes I've worn. And look at your brushes. <laughs> <laughs> I have uncover up cream foundation okay. by my friend Rosemary. I mean, I either use that or I really like this Ilium one. Mm -hmm. this Have you ever tried way. mixing both of them? Probably mm. be a super foundation. So I want you to mix them. Okay. 
I want you to be a little scientist. I always put it on the back of your hand. Okay. Because I'm going to be mixing too. Okay. This is how I use her product. Oh. I take a little bit and I put it on the back of my hand and then I grab it with my brush. Like that? Yeah. And I make sure like my brush really gets in there. Both of these? Yeah. Okay, great. Like really get it into wow, the bristles because wow. it's gonna help it glide onto your oh face. Oh my god! Better. Wow. Okay. And just I, like the the bristles just ate all of my stuff. Now we're gonna do a drop of the Ilia. Okay, great. And then mix that up. Oh wow! We're really mixing. This is gonna be like we are scientists. Wow. We need lab coats. Yes. Yeah. So I just literally do that. Like with this, if I were you, I would go like this. Like. Oh. Oh, that feels good. I like this brush. Right? Yeah. This is great. Okay. But do you see wow. how the lotion great. broke apart the product even yeah. more? Yeah. The moisturizer? Yes. I like this. I really need to get one of these. You can keep that. Oh, so nice. You can keep my quarter product. I know, I was gonna jack a lot of your yeah. products. You, can, so like, you definitely want we'll, the mist. We'll do a little trade. Yeah. That's good. And then we have like a nice little glossy layer. And I like it when I do contouring on top of foundation for the foundation to be thin. Okay. Because I feel like I kind of get coverage with the contour, to be honest. Mm. I know a lot of people are probably gonna say that like they don't but I feel like I do. And yeah. then when do you do your concealer? I do it after the contour because I only want to put a little bit. Okay. I used to do it the other way around, but I feel like you end up putting on more concealer than actually needed. Yes. I feel like one thing I've like toned down on is learning that I'm using a little bit too much concealer sometimes. A little too much. Because you can just use a color corrector. Hello. Hello. Wait, you didn't do this. Hello. Hello. My friends. My little YouTube. Everyone will be like, okay, this is like a musical. Right? <laughs> yeah. Do you use a color corrector? I feel like you don't need one though. I don't know. She just looked at me so shook. I'm like, like I don't know what that is. I spoke is. another language and I don't know what a color corrector <laughs> is. Please. It's for us common folk. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about this. So I have like a back. dark circle right over here. Oh, where? I didn't see any. Right here. Okay. And I just like put it right there. Okay. Instead of putting too much concealer, just color correct it. Oh. What's like one advice that you would have for like girls out there that want to grow up and be Miranda Kerr? Oh, I would say it's important to be yourself. I love that answer. Thanks. I knew you were going <laughs> to <laughs> Don't want to be me, you got to be you, girl. You just got to like own who you are. Yeah. Because everyone has something unique and valuable and beautiful about them. You're going to get beachy. I'm beachy today. And I'm toasty. Getting beachy with it. So, toasty. I've been really, I've been trying these out and I really, really like them. I usually use like my Bobbi Browns, the thicker, but I feel like for day to day, I've really liked switching over to this. It's a very light consistency and it's very easy to blend for anyone that, you know. Is new to contour. Yes. Okay. Such as me. you. It's me. Yes. I'm just going to use a synthetic brush, pick up on it. And then I always go back in and I kind of like tap it on the back of my hand because I, I don't want too much product. Okay. I'm gonna start with my forehead. Okay. <laughs> you would just hit it right here and right here. Okay. So we're just trying to give you a sun kiss look, not even like just draping okay. where the sun would like kiss you. Okay, great. I always like pack a product first. So I just go yeah. like that? Yeah. Ooh, wow. I mean, you see how well you blended that? You know how to contour better. It's my first time doing this, so I'm going in a little gentle. Here, let me. So I'm gonna pick up on this. And I don't know why I choose to do the cheeks last. You don't need this, I mean. Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> no, you don't. I do. Okay, fine. See? So I kind of like just go under the jawline right there lightly. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at that. And then I bring it up, but I feel like you shouldn't. Uh, why? But I wanna do what you're doing. Okay. Your face shape is different, my love, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> like this method, I feel like you don't even need to like blend out too much because I usually do like 
corrective contouring, but this is just like my new contour routine I'm teaching you. Okay, thanks. And then I go just right there. I don't bring it down too much anymore. Oh, just there. Mm -hmm. there you this go. is your eraser. Ooh. Level up, 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 level up. <laughs> what was you? What were you doing down there? I yeah. got my makeup oh, on there. Oh, you got it on there. I would help, but I don't want to be inappropriate. <laughs> it's totally fine. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. <laughs> now we are best We're friends. Real close. <laughs> so I'm just gonna blend that out, and then this is like something I do because I don't feel like putting on eyeshadow. Ooh. I just literally will go into my crease with this. Like, look at what a difference it made on my eye. Wow, okay. And then I will take like a small pencil brush like this. Here, I'll give you one. And I go down, like right here on my nose. Oh, well I have a bump on my nose. Is this gonna accentuate it? Like you have a cute, perfect nose. I, I have a bump on this side and I feel like I hide it. Okay. Do you want me to contour your nose? Mm -hmm. You don't want to put it directly on the bump. Okay. You never want to like highlight the bump, basically. Contouring is like creating bone structure. Wow. Oh my God, my nose looks so much smaller. <laughs> and then we're gonna buff it out in the end a little bit. Okay. So I'm gonna go in heavier. Yeah. And then what I do with this is I go underneath. Like a little eyeliner? Yeah. Now we are going in with our concealer. You just go in around the eyes? Yeah, this is what I do with my concealer. I will show you. This is the seat, by the way. It keeps making noises. It's don't not me. Don't lie. She's, she's not fully perfect, guys. She keeps <laughs> letting it. <laughs> letting it rip. Letting it rip. So I do this with my concealer. You can use this brush or you can do whatever technique works for you. Oh, yeah, I think I better follow what you're doing. This one? Mm-hmm. Okay. I just do that like right here on the inner corner and it really brightens. And then I put it like this to give the optical illusion of a lift. Oh. I feel like it makes my eyes look more lifted and yeah, like more feline. almond shape. Yes, feeling. <laughs> So then I'm gonna make like a little tree of life over here. Mm. I just like when the center of my forehead is brightened. I'm not really doing it for coverage. Okay, yeah. I'm doing it for color. I do that too, but not not the tree of life, but I like to yeah. have the forehead. I just like to have- I feel like just like right here. Yeah, I like, to have a, I like to have a lighter area here normally. Mm -hmm. And then I always do this weird thing over here where I highlight the cube as well. Mm, okay, I just I like it popping out more. Think of like painting, you wouldn't paint down if mm. it's not, like think of like pores, I always describe that. And then I go very lightly, just like on the bridge of my nose, with okay. a straight line. Okay. And Always. the thinner you make this line, the, the more pinched your nose will look. The thicker you make it, your bridge will look whiter. Oh, okay. <laughs> You like it? I'm getting a nose job over here. <laughs> <laughs> and then I do a pump of liquid blush. Oh, I don't know this one. So we're gonna dip into it and I smile. And I like do two dots. I always like to lift up. How do you like your blush place placement usually? I normally do like straight under the eye. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm happy to try a little lift, like that. Yeah, and then I like beat it off on the back of my hand. Beat it! Beat, beat it! Just beat it. Beat it. <laughs> All right. So I like to go right here <laughs> Ooh, like on my forehead. Sun kiss. Yeah, like right where, right over here. But it's okay, we oh. can blend that up. We can blend that up. Yeah. Did you really beat it or you were just singing it? I was beating. Right here? Oh, look at that. Now what do I do? Two that? horns. Yep. We're gonna leave it for a second. And then I go in and I tap like my lid. Yeah, I love a little pinky on the lid. Mm -hmm. So fresh. 
glowing, glowing. And then now we go into the cheeks. And we're just blending in a circular motion. And it doesn't have to be perfectly blended. I'll show you why. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. This is a good blush. What is it? That? NARS Orgasm. It's a liquid version. Yeah. I used to use the, the, the powder. powder. I love the liquid. Yeah, like back in the heyday in New York, I thought I was cool having my little orgasm. NARS Orgasm blush. I love it. Yeah. I'm sure you have stories. I do. But that's for another that's video. For another video. <laughs> we're going to grab our little sponge. Spongy. Our mirror. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go underneath where we placed the concealer first. Okay. And very lightly, you're just gonna pat it. And then that way your concealer starts blending into the blush. Okay. But don't go into the blush yet. Just anything that's super light right now, you're just patting it for it to melt into your skin. Okay. So we're gonna turn around this way to the flat side. Mm -hmm. And we are gonna go onto the blush and blend that blush into the contour. Since we went across the whole face, go like this here too. So it picks up on a little foundation. And that's when we'll go down. I make this beautiful face like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then I go, like I just like pat it in to blend that contour. Oh wow. And it's honestly like what we put underneath it, I'm not saying it just because you're here or anything, but it really matters. This is why I don't like using primers. I like using moisturizer because I think it like helps blend the makeup a lot better. Mm -hmm. I agree, and your skin looks glowing. Thank you, yours does too. Oh, thanks. And then now I just like to set a little bit. I really like, have you used this Givenchy powder? No, I've been looking for like a powder. This is really good because it's like super finely milled. It's not too much. It's the Prism Libre in the tone seven rose. I like the pink tone because mm -hmm. I just like it like a little pinky underneath my eyes Yeah. versus yellow. I really like make sure the powder gets in there. Oh yeah. And then I just get in like the inner corner right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're like, this is too much. We're getting a cake show on now. I'm good. No, it's actually good. Yeah, once it like blends once it in, settles in and yeah. it like your skin warms up the product and your skin like takes in the powder, it's actually really pretty. Yeah. Because I feel like when you first put on powder, it's always like a lot. Yes. And oh, then, I love this. It has a little shimmer in it. Yeah, it does. It's not like super matte where you feel. It's almost like light reflecting. Yes, it is. And then oh, I, I put like a little bit wherever I wanted to brighten it up. It really is like like painting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like coloring. I'm yeah. sure your kids color. They do. And then with this, I like to do this. I like to just go down the bridge of my nose with this because I like how it brightens it up. Okay. And then with the masks nowadays, I feel like, honestly, I used to leave my nose just like highlighted because I wanted it to shine. But the masks remove like your makeup. And then with the residue, I just like to set my eyes. So well, like, smart. you know how like you get creasing here? I hate that. Yeah, same. When you look down. It gets worse with aging, let me tell you. Really? Mm. Uh, I mean, <laughs> shh, <laughs> shh. I know this is might be a little bit OD for you, but this is again, like my routine that I do because of the masks. Mm. I take a little bit of the Laura Mercier powder and I mm. feel like I always, this comes off for me. So I now like I to. have to like staple it on a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And I dip a little bit like this. But don't put it on directly here. Okay. I put it like in the palm of my hand. Okay. And I make sure I like really bead it into the sponge. Okay. And then I just go right here like directly under. Oh yeah, that's good. See, and then it kind of like pops out mm. over here. So now that we have all this powder on our face, yeah. I am going to use your product, actually. Okay. Minty Mineral. Shake it up. 
what's that thing from Beetlejuice? Mm -hmm. That one song. So I always do like a little bit of a cross. Mm, I like that. Bless you, so. Mm -hmm. Mm. And then, and then, and then when I'm usually doing a look like this, I like a little bit of a highlight on my cheek. Okay. This is like an OG highlighter. I love this. Like, I feel like back in the day, this was so popular, and then people made a billion highlighters afterwards, and then it got lost in the mix. It's the original Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow. Okay, great. I love Bobbi. She's also a lovely lady. Yeah, she really is. Mm -hmm. And then I just like to put it right here, especially after I put on like a spray because I feel like it almost makes it look liquid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. It gives that good. It helps it um, not look like a powder. Yeah. You don't have to do this, but this is what I like to do. I like to put a little shimmer. Oh, down the bridge of my nose. Okay, I can do that. again and then I like to go lightly on my cupid's well. Mm -hmm. Now I like to take like a liquid illuminator. Oh. Any color will do but I like using this like clear white-ish with a golden sheen. So you're gonna pick it up with your pencil brush like that and then we are just literally putting it on a dot on the inner corner. Okay. Very lightly. Oh look at that. Mm -hmm. just to like brighten it up. Now let's fix our brows. I usually like brush it down. This is like what I do. Brush it down. Okay. And then I'll lightly like draw it in. Okay. Brush it down. So then you can oh, that's see great. the shape of your brow. What a good tip. And then that's where you'll know where the hair, hair strokes belong. Okay. So then now we're gonna take the little spoolie, put hairspray on it. Okay. And then just brush through your brow. Oh, I love this. Now we are moving on to eyelashes. How do you put those on? <laughs> <laughs> are they magnet these are ones? My, no, no, they're my tarantulas, so I make these myself. Wow. That's why they look so heavy. Wow. I I've, haven't worn eyelashes since like back in the Victoria's Secret days. I oh mean like- Oh my God. The ones that you glue on. Yeah. I like rubbing my eyes, so I don't. Yeah, I know. I just kind of. With lash extensions, you kind of can't, can't do, do that. that. How did it feel to wear, like, was it the most expensive bra in the world? Oh, yeah, at that time, yeah. Heavy? The fantasy bra. The fantasy bra, there we mm -hmm. go. It was, it was heavy, but it was nice. And every time, like, I would walk out on stage, the security would be watching. I'm like, I'm watching you too. Okay. It was like an ocean theme for when I was doing the Walking. runway walk, yeah. You're a rich bitch mermaid. <laughs> so I'm so. gonna curl my lashes, and then you're using the Ilya, I'm using the Lancome Monsoor Big. Monsoor Big. I feel like a mascara is so personal. It really is. Some people love a waterproof mascara. I can't stand I can't. I a like waterproof, waterproof mascara. It's, it's just not good. And obviously, you guys, every single day I don't wear these giant ass lashes, but. You're doing it today for the holiday I look. I mean, I have to look good sitting next to her, so. So, this is like a bunch of individuals that I joined together. And you did that because you don't like to buy the line? I do, but I feel like this just looks prettier. Because I get to control like how I want it. I remember the first time someone put like like a line of those on my eyes. I, they felt so heavy. I was like, ugh. You're like, my skincare did not take this long, Bush. <laughs> Get with the program with the skincare. I thought my program of skincare was like a long one. <laughs> no, I, I knew that like, I was gonna come in and you're like, huh? It's, it's all worth it in the end. Mm, your eyes are so beautiful. Your eyes are so beautiful. <laughs> Stare at me <laughs> in the front camera. Mm. <laughs> okay, let's get started with our lip. I like this one. Makeup Forever. It's been in my yeah, you can't bag go wrong forever. With makeup Forever, I feel like. Yeah, use RMS. 
red. What do you use? I'm gonna use the Black? Kylie Boss and then Ooh. the Chanel number four. Do you like using reds with like a blue tone or a corally tone, like an orange? I like the orange. I ones. like the orange too. Now, with your liner, do mm -hmm. you just use it around like to, oh, look at that. Do you use it on your chin? Do you line yeah. your chin? Sometimes, mm. depending on how, how many drinks I had. <laughs> <laughs> what I like to do is I'll go on my real lip line over here and then I like to, with red especially, yeah. the edges all lift it in. Like, I won't go on my real line. Look right here. Like, oh, my reels over here. Okay. Do you ever color the whole lip with the pencil? Yes. Yeah, I do that All too. the time. Mm. It's it like insurance. It, it makes it stay for so much longer. Uh -huh. It does. A red lip, that's the thing. It has to be perfect. Yeah, if it's smudged, I don't want to see it. Yeah, same. Do you find that men are not attracted to women? that wear red lips? I have not had that experience. I mean, you're Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> but what I do know is that my husband loves the way a red lip looks, mm -hmm. but he'll often say, oh, do you have to wear a red lip? It's hard for me to kiss you then. Yeah, yeah. So he likes the way it looks, but then he wants to make out and he's, you know, feeling like he can't really make out with me in because public the because lip. the red lip will get all over him. But it's kind of hot when you kiss. Yeah, yeah, like when you're home and the doors are closed, sure. Yeah. That's like a whole different ball game. I didn't mean literally balls, but kind of. It's okay, my channel is rated R. Oh, is it? That's yes. good. Have you not met me? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that YouTube channels had ratings. <laughs> they don't, I just made it. Oh, I was gonna say, I was like, wow. I like to bake a little bit, like all the way in the end. I feel like you won't like it though if you do it. Okay. We can leave. I'll, I'll watch you. Look, I put this on and it like sat longer than this and my skin like eats it out. Mm. That's why I do it. And then I'm just gonna lightly tap it off. So I put it on and I take it off. Okay. But I don't leave it on for too long. I'm going to spray it onto the sponge. Oh, now you're spraying it on the sponge. Mm -hmm. Didn't see that coming. Beat it in. Beat it again. And then I go over here. I feel like you might like it if you try this. You want to okay. try it? Yeah. Because it like blends that um, powder okay. highlight. Like literally press it in right here. Ooh, yeah, that's good. And it makes it look wet. Yeah, I like that. And then you can honestly press it wherever else you want your More face. More glow. Yeah. Who's ready for the holidays now? Gonna come to our holiday party? <laughs> we should have a holiday party. Yes, yeah, so we should have a holiday party. Would you come? Comment down below. And what song would you be singing at our holiday party? Cora I'm... should Cora should have a holiday party. Cora should have a holiday party. <laughs> yes. Dreaming Not of a white Christmas. Christmas. I feel like we need like Santa baby. Hurry down the chimney tonight. Mm -mm. <laughs> Join us for some karaoke. Comment down below yeah. your favorite holiday song. You guys, it's Christmas. thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed our little mini tutorial. We gave you some skin with Miranda Kerr and Cora. And then I hit you guys with the contour. I mean, she thank you need it, but, for that contour. But do you feel like you liked what you did with your face? Yes, that was so fun and it was it so good really that I got good. to learn how to do it. Thanks. I mean, you looked beautiful before, Aww. but you look really pretty now. Thank you. And comment down below if you guys like to see Miranda Kerr on my channel again. Yay, I'll be back. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to try out my limited time holiday offer with Audible. This makes an amazing gift just to let you know. If you guys would like to see more videos with me and Miranda Kerr, do not forget to comment down below. And if you aren't following me, please do hit that follow button, like and subscribe. I love you guys so much. I'm gonna hit you with the quote of the video. The version of me wasn't built overnight. This is experience, this is pain, this is insecurities, 
I had to go through things to get to the level I am now. I cannot like say this enough with chest. I feel like I am who I am because of the bad things and the hardships I had to go through life along with the good things. But I do feel like humility and pain has taught me empathy. And I know sometimes people go through a darker season in their life, just hang in there. It's gonna be okay. It's building your character. I love you guys so much. Till next time.